can confirm. Well, yeah, we could have. Okay, gone to the but I was I was picking my audience when I was talking, and I chose you, who was telling me about the Native Americans who don't believe in yoga. So, so I so I went with a very specific so, argument for you specifically. Yeah. Had I known you're an expert in Newtonian physics. I might have used I a different. I might have um, used um, a different. Some a different dubious argument. rationality also, going on. I just every Very like, especially with like 9/11, there's always like they're like, oh, we have like 200 engineers who signed this paper saying like jet fuel can't melt steel. <laughs> and yeah, they're like, okay, like I could probably <laughs> find like a thousand engineers who would sign one who says like it wasn't. They killed them all anyway. Yeah. But it's just like, conspiracy you know, I think stuff like that, you're like, oh, I'm like an engineer. And then you like look up this guy and it's like, oh, you got like fired from like a community college like five years ago after like, you know, there's working there for like there's two airline years. pilots. There's like an airline pilot one too, like an airline pilots against them who signed this thing yeah. and said that they didn't believe that these people could have flown at 747 or 727 into the building. I don't know. I don't, I don't really know. I don't really care. Yeah. I agree. So Jetton's flop, trip jacks. Carol did curious, chip back I'm in pair of jacks. I'm specific Newtonian physics. Jetton had trip sixes. You would seem to be relevant to the discussion of whether or not Americans actually landed on the moon. I feel like you're just missing the point. I, I, don't, I don't know the specific Newtonian physics. I took A-level physics and that's it. But I do know that people can theoretically, hypothetically, and have in actual reality taken I don't think anyone's, I don't think anyone's arguing. That themselves. I don't think anyone's arguing theoretically if someone could have went to the moon. Yes, I think they, that's the they argument. literally are. That's one of the biggest arguments. I think a lot of people say that you could fly up to around the area, but actually landing on the moon's surface, it's leaving easy. and then leaving, is quite difficult. That's not, it hasn't been done since. No one else has done it since. <laughs> Just, now Charlie's got a two-way <laughs> battle. <laughs> so that's really a physics thing. He's like, what do I focus on? Keep um, talking to him, we're all a boss. It's, it's a shot clock yeah, tournament it's like, too. It's, you just like lost the cards. Was, so I don't know, one of the great fast movies I've ever seen. Seven. Like I was like blown away. I wasn't like. 18. What's amazing is how. Um, it seems call. like you're like, oh, these guys really were just like winging it. Like, yeah. like, like there's a world where it's like, oh no, everyone like dies and like the end, wow. right? There's Ouch. like a pretty cool uh, couple documentaries. <laughs> He's just I like, like, yeah, I'm listening to you guys, but no, not really. I'm trying to figure out how to get the most value in that I rivered full house. And then there was a and this is when that 45 who blind stack of Jetson comes into play, because he actually has a legit chance of busting here. All of like behind the scenes footage from everything. Yeah, from the Jetson did a pot size bet on the turn. Oh, well, I think he's going to go big again perfect. with the trip sixes. I think so too. The yeah, flush round misses as well. It's an it's a pot yeah. size bet again. Now we know Charlie yeah. Carroll is going to shove yeah. here. Yeah. What do you do here with Jen and Trip Sixes? Yeah. It's pretty gross, right? Yeah, it is really gross. You got to also be thinking, who's going to bluff me this way? Yeah. The one thing that you have going for you in terms of maybe getting away from it is the fact that you're in the big blinds. Pretty cool. All in. And you could have uh, many yeah. cards. Jetson is supposed to have uh, quite a few sixes here because he's in a big blind. He already has a, has a blind invested. So <laughs> it's really tough to bluff somebody off this spot. Um, but then again, you know, we see the cards and um, folding trips with only 83,000 behind is, is quite crazy. This is a shot clock tournament. Jetson does have limited time. And it looks like he called and he's eliminated. Unfortunate for him, but this is an unlimited re-entry tournament, so he can get right back in it. Super unlucky there. Yeah. But Jetton, he's been to every single Triton series. Many, many caches. Many deep runs. I'm... 100% certain he's going to jump back into this tournament. Yogi Bear was supposed to be on it. Yeah, Jetson likes to fire, but for good reason. He has <laughs> so much success on, uh, on the Triton series. <laughs> you see him time and time again. Home. Doing well. I used to love coming home and watching Yogi Bear as a kid. <laughs> Yogi now Bear. you got to watch people die. That sucks. Yeah, the, the Yogi Bear was great. <laughs> so 
Charlie, 300, that's a cartoon called Pappy. If you're enjoying the way that I'm speaking about poker, teaching poker, I do have a website, charliecarroll.com. Link is in the description below. You'll find on there a mindset masterclass, which I think is the most important, teaching you how to deal with tilt, anxieties, ambition, things like that. You'll find a poker masterclass completely teaching you how to restructure the way that you think about poker. And you'll find the complete archive of the Bank Roll Challenge.